Hello everybody, it's Mike, and I'm here with a new video. Um, I'm actually here with a new total, totally different format of a video. Um, I'm going to try something new here. So we've had a lot of time on our hands, I think, kind of across the globe, and I've been trying to fill out a sketchbook. Um, I've never actually completed a sketchbook, and so I thought, um, since I'm drawing so much, I thought it would be a really good time to start recording and sharing those videos with you. Um, in an attempt to kind of share my process of how I go about drawing and um, sort of experimenting. Um, very close to finishing this sketchbook. Uh, got a lot of pages kind of done. I've got about 10 more left to go. So I'm excited to eventually do a sketchbook walkthrough with y'all. Um, but yeah, the purpose of this video is to uh, start sharing my own personal process. I'm not going to be doing any voiceover during it. It's just more of an opportunity for you to um, watch it in action. So today we're going to be focusing on showing this drawing. Um, and here's a close-up of it. And so uh, with this drawing, it's all done in colored pencil. Um, another thing I want to do in these videos is kind of talk about the mediums that I'm using, uh, just so you have access to them, sharing links to them, um, and things like that. So I guess first I'm using a uh, Moleskin Artist Sketchbook. It's got kind of a thicker, a thicker paper um, than uh, some of the other sketchbooks they have. Uh, so it's it's heavier. It's pretty durable. Um, in addition to that, I'm using Prismacolor, very thin colored pencils. And I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not getting paid to talk about these products. Um, these are just products that I really like to use. Uh, these colored pencils from Prismacolor are um, very hard. Uh, they come in packs of, I think, 12, 30, 24, and 32. Um, they're really beautiful. They have lots of different colors, so you can kind of create anything you want. You can, there are many different ways of applying, but I like these a lot because they're really hard and it allows me to get really crisp lines because if you've seen my work, you'll know that I really like to do um, various hatching techniques. So using these, um, they're not very erasable, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, they're a little bit erasable, some of the lighter colors, but you have to have gone in kind of light with them. Um, I always use a kneaded eraser um, with sometimes I, let's see if I can find it real quick, sometimes I'll use, I'll use a sort of a, um, like a, a retractable eraser, I don't even know what these are called, but they're, they're a much firmer eraser um, that helps you get into sort of the smaller places. So I'm hoping to do these kinds of videos about maybe once per week. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of drawing and sketching and things like that, so I might as well just record it uh, for y'all uh, so you can take a look. Um, hopefully I won't have these super long intros, but I did want to introduce you to the idea. So the, the way these videos will go, I'll do a little intro, and then I'll do a time-lapse version of the drawing so you can kind of get a sense as to whether or not you actually want to see it unfold in real time. Um, I'm going to try to keep those down to about two minutes. And then I'm going to do the full um, real-time video with just some music underlaid. I won't be doing any voiceover, like I said, um, but uh, it's a really good chance for you to see how a drawing kind of um, unravels, unravels, um, comes to life. I have no idea. Uh, and and uh, yeah, it's just something I wanted to share with y'all. Um, and this particular drawing took about... I think 40 minutes or something like that. So it's not too long, but it can be something you have going on in the background, something if you want to, you can follow along with. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the videos, and I hope you enjoy this. Um, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know how YouTube works, but I really do hope you enjoy this, and we'll see you during the next video. Thanks.